so Peter Pan's like super boring. So like we need to reverse it all up. And I was saying like, so the Lost Boys are actually the pirates, and they're like fucking the mermaids, you know, in the cove. And then there's like hobos that have like invaded from real land. They like came flying in, like the Lost, like like. I don't know. So then they're in there on the island and they're like setting up their hobo crap. So then they like come in and they like fight them epically and the hobos lose. And then the hobos are like, you know, kicked into a giant pit full of crocodiles, you know? And then. And then the Native American Indians show up and they like yeah. smoke weed and shit and they're like, ho! Oh, and then they party <laughs> really hard, you know? Yeah, and then, um, you know, Captain Pan is caught, you know, um,. You know, making out with uh, the with squaw or whatever, and then you know. But instead of being angry because it's yeah. reverse, then he just says, "Oh ha ha, oh, oh, that's actually a man." And then Peter Pan is just <laughs> horrified. Yeah, everything's reversed. <laughs> and then, and then, um, not Stinker Bell, no, because he's male. No, um, what's his name? Uh, wait, it's. it's <laughs> Peter Pan female? No. Or are we are we switching everything <laughs> gender to? <laughs> Wait a minute. No, not that far. I, not that's that far. Confusing. That's stupid. No. <laughs> um so no, we just have um uh what's her name? Um <laughs> Wait a minute. Wendy? <sighs> so instead of Tinkerbell, we have Wendy from Wendy's. <laughs> yeah <laughs> like a micro wendy from wendy's yeah and she's uh she's concerned because you know hobos have been eating her food at a restaurant um no i don't know but seriously um like <laughs> I think that seriously, yeah, like the hobos, they like were the ones that have been like secretly destroying their the Wendy's life, you know? They've been like hanging out outside of her house and like, you know, making the dog, On you know. An island. <laughs> <laughs> what? On an island. <laughs> On an island. <laughs> Is she already on the island? Oh yeah, she's the lost Wendy, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so the hobos technically come in with Peter Pan. He's chasing the hobos. That's better. Yes, he's from London. He's taking and over the streets swimming. of London, <laughs> and they've been swimming all the way there. <laughs> Why <What? laughs> do never land the hobos while he chases them in a pirate ship? <laughs> swimming. <laughs> I'm just making fun of Lord of the Rings. She's been swimming for days. The fuck? Let's see here. So, um, I mean, the hobos just fly, man. They just, they just Before the last I cigarette ash and start. Flying. Yeah, they 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 smoke the the last of the like super cigarettes from like the opium dam, and they like fly off into the night sky. Then Peter Pan. Who's like a newsboy who's eradicated the city of Hobos. <laughs> he gets a pirate. I mean, he gets a ship from the harbor. And he, you know, smokes a whole ton of, of, of I don't know, magic, magic weed. He smokes the fairy dust. Of he course. smokes the fairy dust of the weed. And he picks up the sail of the whole thing, and he flies off to Neverland after the hobos. They're just swooping into the sky, trying to escape to one of the stars that are just past, you know, morning and all that bullshit. But they're headed for Orion's belt. Yeah. But it's the star just below, and the left, so it's his, it's his testicle. <laughs> Definitely, yes. Now the legend is complete. So, this is this reverse, then the, the crocodile, um, is a female and is always trying to rape the hobos? Yes. <laughs> yes. 
Because, you know, the whole island, you know, is like, a, you know, got high points and low points. So the, the crocodile has got swamping, slipping around, you know, stalking the hobos for the rape, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Then you can have the hobos trying to survive on the island, you know, like collecting mushrooms. Like, you know how there's the whole scene with, like, going in line when instead it's, like, the down hobos? And then, like... Um, you know, they, like, scream as the crocodile, like, they're, like, you know, going along the zip line, you know, vine thing, and the crocodile, like, jumps up and, like, grabs the one at the bottom of the vine, like, he goes, oh, just bursts the undergrowth, as, like, his clo tear clothes tear off in either direction, chunks of them. <laughs> This is like that movie. It's like as dumb as that movie with Val Kilmer, Top Secret. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else there's even in the movie. What else even needs to be reversed? There's not much else that happens. Uh, instead of a skull cave, there's a dickhead cave? I don't know. Shouldn't the cave just be like a hyper sexy, like, you know, pu puffy, like, vagina lips, you know? And like, they don't like, you know, like opens you know when like the uh ocean pushes in you know what the <laughs> to, like, like let their boat in <laughs> there's like sexy mermaids in there you know <laughs> i don't know but the, but they're dudes that are chads with big muscles that, that always are like bruh bruh yeah because it's reversed so they're not sexy that you know because if we don't reverse it all the way to where it's the most stupid possible. So it's like he goes in there and then the world's like sexiest like male bra bra mermaids. And then he's like, hey, what's up guys? How you doing? Oh man. As they like, you know, bully, they bully, um, Peter Pan, you know, like, I mean, like verbally, you know what I mean? Like make fun of how his muscles. So Wendy, stuff. right. She must have gotten slaughtered by the hobos with her brothers long ago. So she's super magical and she's been guiding Peter Pan to fuck her pussy the whole time, you know, and get to Neverland and this magic pirate ship. Damn, this is one kinky adventure. Damn, I like this. <laughs> okay, that's, I guess uh, that'll be good. No. I always thought Neverland was stupid, so my original concept is all the same. He's, you know, the paper boy, Peter Pan, and, like, you know, he's, like, you know, he, to prove he's tough to the other kids on the street, he hits himself in the Peter with a pan. That's why he's called Peter Pan. That's what I used to do as a kid. I used to say, watch this, check this out. <laughs> and so I feel like there's these kids that would run around, you know, in Elko and punch everyone in the nuts. So I was like, check this out. And I'd just be like, go ahead, punch me in the nuts. <laughs> and they just crank back and spin their arm a couple of times and go, bam, like as hard as they could. They were fucking good at punching. I'm like, nah, I don't feel it. You see, that's, that's Iron Monk nuts. So, um, that's how Peter Pan is, is like how I was as a kid. He's got like serious testosterone balls. So then, um, th what, what I'm thinking is, all the stuff, it's like a serious movie, you know, with light-hearted interactions of saving the kids from, you know, the whole city, from bad situations, you know. Real pop it, you know, pop and jay stuff. But then, um, Peter Pan, he gets on the boat, and in this alternate movie, right, he's chasing the hobos who are trying to escape over to Ireland, and then, yeah, I know what you're thinking, guys. And then, um, when he gets over to Ireland, then, of course, uh, Wendy is a hot Irish chick named Wendy, you know. And then he, he, you know, stops the hobos from, you know, molesting her on her farm, and then he bangs her. And the, uh, the, what happens is while he's taking a trip over, on the on the boat, the uh, guys he recruits, you know, some, like, older teenage, like, uh, you know, dock workers who you know how to, you know, sail. 
they, uh, you know, he falls asleep because you see he was tortured by the hobos before he was rescued back in England. And they fed him their dirty hobo mushrooms. So then he's having fever dreams on the ship. And he dreams the entire Peter Finn alternate movie. And then it comes out as the sequel. I can't have eaten too many mushrooms. It's the ultimate. I don't even know what to add. That sums it all up. So Peter Pan, before he goes over there across the ocean, he has to rescue this this schoolgirl named Alice from her hobo school teacher who's casting a spell on her with his hobo mushrooms. And so she this this whole you know story he's telling her about you know, how she's in Wonderland, you know, because of his mushrooms. So then uh, he saves her. So then. At the end of the sequel, you see where he's, you know, goes to far, far away place, uh, whatever uh, it's called. I can't think. I'm getting weird. But anyways, then um, <clears throat> at the end, it turns out he's telling his his young child in Ireland because, see, he got so inspired by... <laughs> the hobo trying to fuck Wendy with his hobo mushrooms magic that then he's making up a similar story like Alice in Wonderland for his kid, you see. <laughs> and it's uh, it's just a story, you know, it turns out. And he didn't actually go to the stars. Totally. <laughs>